Don't forget to check out the exclusive content and tutorials. Links are in the description. Do you want to bring down the government, Mr. Rees-Mogg? Government... Rees-Mogg. I like this guy. He's much tamer than the American uh, politicians. But after the reality show that we've been watching now for two years, I'm so glad to see Tamer. Do you want to bring down the government, she says. She's adjusting herself in the chair. She's getting ready for her fight. Which you are a backbench MP. You can tell it's ready for a fight because she's not cowing down. She's making herself straighter. She's trying to put herself into a much more stronger position of strength. Uh, no, I support the government and I wish the government to continue. I don't support its withdrawal agreement, but the um, two questions are separate questions. What do you think will happen? Because there doesn't seem to be a majority for her deal. Brexiteers think that it keeps us yoked to the EU and we rely on their permission, although that was contested earlier, in order to get out of potential backstop. Um, Remainers don't think it delivers the benefits of being in the EU. If it is voted down, she has a crushing defeat. Is it not? I was thought for a little bit that she was submitting because you keep seeing her go forward, but she's not. It's just either it's a monitor of Reese or a camera angle or a TV. I don't know what she's looking at. So she's trying to get close to it and invade space because you also see with it these jerk actions as she makes her point. So she makes a point and she puts a jerk into it, an aggressive move. And whenever you see someone get aggressive with you in supposed conversation, you should automatically know they're not looking to actually have a conversation with you. They're looking to suppress you, humiliate you, make you cow down to them. Something that isn't a mutual conversation. It's not inevitable that she has to go. Uh, no, I don't think it is. Um, that everyone knows that the European issue is a particularly divisive one, not just within the Conservative Party, but across political parties. There are many views. It's also clear that the House of Commons knows more clearly what it doesn't want than what it does want. So, although He is a small mover and he's quiet. I like those types much more than loud and big moves because quiet is thinking. Every word that comes out of their mouth for a quiet person of high intelligence, it's well thought out. You don't generally stump them very easily. And if you do stump them, they don't get huffy and puffy. They relax, they think, and then they speak. Something that actually makes sense. Though there's no majority for this deal, it's hard to see that there's a majority for any deal at the moment. And that, in a way, is not the fault uh, of the government. So isn't that, will... sorry to interrupt, but isn't that the fault of Brexiteers? And I go back to the referendum. When people voted to leave... <laughs> I'm watching Pierce. I didn't like him for quite a while when he was over here. Being a gun grabber is definitely not a popular thing when you're dealing with a tyrannical government arresting people willy-nilly and using force on its population. So he's cut his lips. He's playing with his mouth. He's playing with his pen. It's like he's the mentality of, I, okay, I'm irritated. We don't know if it's because of her line of questioning or if he's irritated that he wants to say something. But that's that irritation that's coming through. Each individual person in that 17... And with that look, it's her. Leans back, looks at her with all of those markers of irritation. So it is her. 0.4 million might have thought they were voting for a different thing. They might have been voting on immigration or they might have been voting on more money for the NHS or they might have been voting on fish or they might have been voting on... And then you see him look at her again and push his lips up. I have found him to be pretty much an intelligent guy. Don't completely agree with all his views on life, but... If you find somebody like that, you probably need to marry him. The European uh, Court of Justice. The fact of the matter is they voted for ice cream. They didn't know what flavor ice cream they were going to get. There's never been a unified mm. plan. No, I, I, I think you do down the intelligence of the electorate. What they voted for- I'm not for, suggesting for a uh, moment that each individual member of the electorate isn't intelligent. That's to uh, mischaracterize uh, 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 what I say. That's to mischaracterize what I say. This is actually funny because that's exactly what she did do. You've got Reese coming up there to try and stop her. And then you've got her. She's got her little teacup in her hand. Let's mischaracterize what I say. Her head comes back. Shoulders go back. I'm going to be defiant because that is what I said. I'm going to try and get away from it. It's literally what you see. Deny, deny, and the body is trying to get away. What they voted for and what was clear and the thread running through every example you came up with was that they voted to leave the European Union and that leaving the European Union opens up all those things. Control of fish, getting out of the European Court of Justice's jurisdiction, not paying all the money. All that is leaving. And what many people have said to me over the last month or so 
is that they didn't vote for a deal, they voted for leave. And the problem with the House of Commons is about three quarters of members of the House of Commons voted to remain. And therefore, you've got a Remainer House of Commons trying to implement a leave that it doesn't want. And that's why you've got no agreement on the deal. From a lever point of view, it's very straightforward. We leave, and a deal is secondary to the issue of leaving. Isn't, isn't the biggest problem that we have a prime minister who also voted Remain? And therefore, I think, as later... And this is where Mr Morgan kind of gets on my nerves. Because he does have intelligent things to say. But he's kind of weak. He's talking. He puts his arm up underneath of himself and holds himself and the other one anchored on it as he talks. He's making himself smaller because he's next to a woman who just called the electorate morons. Because apparently you can't read or comprehend if you can read. And so he's literally cowing down to her. I'm going to say something because I'm mentally strong enough to say it. But I'm terrified of what consequences may be. ...self open to the charge which has now come to fruition. That throughout all this... Oh my God. I'm going to sit here in my polka dot shirt, play with my fingers, wiggle to a little bit left, right, flex my jawbone and roll my eyes. This woman is crazy. When you're so stuck in a belief system that you literally get irritated in a discussion, you should have no part of the discussion. To get that angry over words. It's like, what the hell, man? We'll watch a little bit more of this. She's had a subliminal inbuilt sense of, I don't really want to be doing this. I know the British public voted for it. <laughs> so sick. So Morgan is starting to relax. And I don't know if it's because he's just completely ignoring her or if he thought the initial start of this conversation was going to get him whacked and she didn't do it. So then he relaxed and continued. But she's over here licking her chops adjusting her jaw. She's like a rabid pit bull ready to bite somebody because they're talking. If you'd like to learn more about analyzing body language, there is a video course available on Mandy's website for gold subscribers, where Mandy teaches more about her techniques of deception detection. There's also other content such as the crime series and interesting mind series available to both gold and silver subscribers. If you like it, please share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.